Choose any. Okay. All right, any mini minimo. <laughs> All right, we already did enough good kids, so let's look at somebody else. Corn. I'm gonna do the last one. Okay, I'm gonna do the last one for you. All right, so this one is called Corn Shoots and Letters. Okay, let me pause. Intro time. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy, Mr. Doge. How you doing? Tell me, talk to me. How you doing today? On today's video, we have corn shoots and ladders. Not sure who corn is. Shout out to my boy Kill the Cabbage Man for recommending this song. <laughs> Not sure who corn is. If you guys want to give me some information, let me know in the comments down below. What am I expecting here? What is this like a rock band? Is this like I mean yes, I see him holding the guitar. You know, am I am I gonna hear some awesome guitar solos? Can't wait. If you guys like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me what other songs, apart from Corn, you guys want me to react to. Um, I really appreciate the love and the support. We're heading to 3,000 subs. Damn. Let's get it. <laughs> Corn, let's go. What is that instrument called again? I hardly see anyone play this instrument. Backpipes. Oh. I'm telling you, I'm sorry for pausing, but I'm telling you, Tool, Leonard Skinner, this corn ban, um, who else? I don't, I don't think Chicago did it. They always play that specific note. It might not be the same like chord. I, I don't know how to put it. It's might, it might not be the same chord. But it's like the same kind of progression in a sense. Like, I'm not a musical genius. But they always hold the note out so much that it's like it grabs your attention. It makes you like so sucked in. It's like they do it at the beginning of the songs to like get you build up. And then I guess they go into the meat of it. It's a, it's a little bit hard to explain, but I'm sure somebody that studies music knows what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's get it. Yeah, here at night.
what is it with what is it with some of these bands taking childhood nursery rhymes and just twisting it into something so different? This was so, so sound a little bit sinister slash like I don't know. I don't know how to put it. It it sounds so good, yet it sounds so interesting. Like, huh? He's singing a, a kid's nursery rhyme, but why does it go so hard? You know? Why does it sound so freaking good? Hold on, let me pull up the lyric video because I want to hear what he says between them. Hold on. So I can like I wanna I wanna hear it while I'm I'm listening. <laughs> Hold on. He said he sing the ring a ring a rosy. Ring around the rosy first. Okay, okay. Nursery rhymes are said in my head into my childhood. There's spoon fed. Hidden violence revealed darkness that seems real. Look at the pages that cause all this evil. Damn. So is he saying that all of these nursery rhymes are bringing out some different stuff out of him? Or is it that because of who he became, like the nursery rhymes in his head has been like corrupted by who he's become? I don't know. Let's let's hear it though. Topic and a lot of you guys might not know who XX Tentacion is, but he's a rapper that died uh, back in I think he died back in twenty eighteen. He passed away back in twenty eighteen. I definitely like if he didn't draw inspiration from Corn, I don't know who did. Like listening to his music, I, I can hear XX Tentacion in this guy's like type of like voice slash like. I don't, I don't know how to put it. Just overall with the performance. What year did this come out? Let me know in the comments. Like, because <laughs> there's so much I want to say, but I just don't know where to start. And I don't want to make the video too long. But how can you take so many different nursery rhymes and turn it to this rock Splash of art. Let's put it that way. And make it sound so good to the ears. And at the same time, make it sound so hard. Is that my pumpkin? Hold on. Hold on, my daughter woke up. My pumpkin woke up. <laughs> Yo. So he's basically, okay. So he was saying, um, let me run that part. But he said, nursery rhymes are said. Verses in my head. Into my childhood, they're spoon-fed. 
hidden violence revealed darkness that seems real look at the pages that curse all this evil so he's saying like him growing up on all of these like different nursery rhymes yeah it may seem like all oh, willy nilly he's happy oh let's sing kids come on let's sing but actually is it that he had some kind of trauma that turned those nursery rhymes that was supposed to keep him calm and compose into something dark and evil? Huh? You said most, oh, you said most nursery rhymes have dark meanings? Huh? I did not know that. But anyways, <laughs> I don't want this video to be too long. Thank you guys so much for watching with me. If you guys have some more corn that you want me to react to, let me know in the comments down below. Um, super excited. Shout out to my boy, Kale the Cabbage Man, for recommending this song. 